Hi. What are you doing? Is that a camera? I see. You're doing a movie about me. Or rather, about ants? Another one. It's not the first time you know. You mean a movie that will explain our real lives? Well, we ants don't think like you, and we communicate with a chemical language. But if you want us to speak with your words, then why not try? <laughs> Many of you humans are fascinated to watch us carrying our prey resolutely for dozens of meters. Why don't I eat this cricket right away? That's because I'm going to share it with my mother and my younger sisters who stay in the nest. As in all other species of ants, it is we, the older workers, that go outside to get the food. Are you surprised that it is the oldest workers that go hunting? That's how we are. Insects do not grow weak as they get old. Until the day I die, I will be able to walk long distances, fight and carry prey that is as heavy as me. There you are, big sister. Too often you hunters do not come back. And what nice prey you bring us. Yes, but this cricket gave me a hard time. Biting its legs wasn't enough to hold it down, so I had to use my sting. This sting helps me to catch insects bigger than I am. It is a mean weapon with a venom that paralyzes. Because in our species, we do not help each other outside the nest. We hunt alone. We still behave a little bit like the ancestors of ants, solitary wasps like those that still fly around. But although we kept the sting, we workers have lost the wings. Tell me, you do this every day. What's it like to go far from the nest and hunt these strange insects? Those of us that are only five or six months old stay mostly in the nest. Sometimes we go outside, but we never walk far from the entrance. But we work hard nonetheless, like this morning, which we spent excavating earth. We're digging a new chamber to make our nest bigger. So tell me, wh what's it like out there? Just be patient. In a few weeks your hormones will be right and you can go hunting like me. But don't get too excited. It is dangerous. Spiders and lizards often attack us, or we can lose an antennae while fighting with our prey. We can get lost and never find the nest again. Many of us die after only a few days outside. I left my cocoon only one month ago. I spend all my days in the underground chambers caring for my little sisters, the larvae. They cannot walk, so we must do everything for them. I will cut this cricket into pieces and put them next to the larvae. Look, they can feed by themselves on prey we gave them earlier. Once the larva has finished growing, we help her make a cocoon with her own silk. Inside the cocoon, she metamorphoses into an adult over a few weeks. When she is ready, we help her break free from the cocoon. Like you, I was a nurse before I became a forager. Your behaviour will also change with age. It's one of the differences between us and solitary insects. Their activities do not change as they get older, while ours do. Take a cricket, for example. It does not take care of its young and it does not build a nest. It must find its food, avoid predators. Even among the nurses, the work is divided up. In this chamber, I care for the older larvae. If you go next door, you'll see workers busy with young larvae and the eggs.
Do you see all these eggs? They've all been laid by the Queen. That's the only work we do not do in the colony. Ten months ago, I was also one of these eggs. But now, my death is near. Ten months may seem a very short life, but it is far longer than for most solitary insects. Sometimes their adults live only a few weeks. All of us, young and old, work together so that the larvae can become adults. But, of course, we young workers take no risk because we stay inside the nest. Old workers have a more difficult life. We must learn to find our way far from the nest, catch our prey efficiently and escape our own predators. It is at the end of our lives that we take all the risks. We are not like humans. We don't risk the lives of our young. The entire colony, larvae, young workers and the Queen depends on the labour of old workers like me. And as soon as I bring back prey to the nest, I leave again to find more. Our Queen lives much longer than us. And in contrast to the rest of us, she took risks when she was young to start this colony. But that's another story.